Hey guys, welcome back. So today's tutorial is going to be a full face makeup tutorial. I feel like I haven't done one of these in a while, so I decided to create a full face makeup tutorial. Most of the products that I use today are drugstore products. Some of them you can't find at the drugstore, but they're not high-end products either. Um, one of the palettes that I used was um, from Crown Brushes. The other one is Winky Lux that I received in a boxy charm. And I think the only other thing would be the RCMA setting powder, but I believe everything else is pretty much from the drugstore. So if you want to see this full face and makeup tutorial, obviously you have to keep watching. Um, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you haven't already. Follow my other social media, watch my previous videos, um, share my channel, and share my videos. And let's get started. Wait, actually, no, I lied. I'm sorry. <laughs> my mistake. The lipstick I'm wearing is a Marc Jacobs lipstick. Is the Kiss Kiss Bang Bang lipstick, which I received in uh, Sephora. I think it's the birthday little sample that they give you at Sephora. So yeah, this is the only high-end product that I'm using today. All right, now we can get started. My face is clean, moisturized, and ready to go. My eyebrows are already filled in, as you can see. So I'm gonna start with this Wet n Wild Cover All Primer. And I just have a pea size of it, and I'm just gonna start dabbing it in the places that I want this. And from there, I'm going to spread it into the other areas. And I'm just gonna be pushing this in where I need it because it's my T-zone where I need it the most. And then I just drag it out whatever I don't need towards this T-zone. I just drag it out to the rest of my face. I don't really ap apply primer everywhere. I just, like I said, like, as you saw, I apply it in these spots and then whatever I drag it out. But for the most part, just like push it in, tap it into your face. Don't rub it in like you would um, when you apply a moisturizer. You can use your fingers or you can use a sponge. Now that the primer has set, I'm going to be going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Um, this one is in the shade Golden Beige. Let's see if this works out for me. I'm just going to apply the same spots. I usually apply it towards the center of my face and then I drag out. I'm going to apply a little bit more around here. And I'm going to blend it out with my fingers. And then I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal sponge. I like to start light. If I feel like I need to add a little bit more, then I go right ahead and add more. But I don't like to start heavy at the beginning because I like light to medium coverage. I don't really like heavy or full coverage. So with the sponge, I just like to push the foundation in just so it can settle into the skin. As you can see, I push and then I roll a little bit. This actually feels good. I feel like I'm giving my face a nice massage with this sponge. And for my concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is more for color correction under my dark circles. I'm just gonna swipe it right there and I'm gonna blend it with my fingers and then I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal sponge. I'm also gonna place this around the nose area because it does get red around here for me. So I do like to highlight the inner corners of my eye with concealer. So I'm going to go in with this Sephora Bright Future Concealer. This one is in custard, so it's really light for me. And I'm just going to place it in these inner corners of my eye and pat it with my finger and then blend it out with a beauty sponge. Whatever is left on my finger, I'm just going to dab it onto the lid. Set my under eye area. I'm going to be using the RCMA translucent powder 
and I'm using the L'Oreal sponge for this. I'm just going to set my under eye area. I'm also going to set the eye and around the nose. I'm going to contour a little bit using the Balm's Bahama Mama, and this is a crown brush. Um, I'm super pale right now, and I don't like the way I'm looking, so I'm just going to contour a little bit. You guys already, if you have checked out my highlight and contour video, you know what I do. Just place it on the top corner outside area, right under that cheekbone, and end up with the corner of my eye. And I just like to blend it out right there. See already? No contour, contour. And to bronze my face, I'm using the Physician Formula Butter Bronzer and a Light Bronzer. For my highlights, I'm using Anastasia's So Hollywood Illuminator. And this is a Luxie 512 Small Contouring Brush. For my blush, I'm using this City Color B Matte Blush in Papaya. And this is a BH Cosmetics 109 um, brush. Today, I'm going to be using these two eyeshadow palettes. This one is the Winky Luxe Kitten Palette. Um, it's a collaboration with BoxyCharm. And this one is the Glam Metal Crown Pro Palette. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start with the Winky Luxe one. And let me open it. I'm going to start with this shade right here, which is called Duchess. And I'm going to be placing Duchess on my brow bone. And I'm using a BH Cosmetics 104 brush for this application. The next eyeshadow I'm using is this one right here and it's named Strut on a Morphe E27 tapered blending brush. And I'm going to be placing Strut on my crease, on my upper crease. This will be my transition shade. I'm just blending from outer all the way to inner corner. The next eyeshadow I'm using is this one right here, which is named Cheshire on a Morphe M412 brush. And I'm going to be placing Cheshire into the crease. Same thing from outer to inner corner, but I'm going to stay a little bit lower than I did with Strut. So just work this into your crease. So now I'm going to jump into the Crown Metal Matte Palette and I'm going to be using this eyeshadow right here called Rock On on a BH Cosmetics 102 brush. I'm going to place Rock On on my mobile lid and I'm going to bring it all the way up into my crease. Going back into the Winky Lux palette, I'm going to go into this brown shade called Boots right here and I'm going to place this on my outer V. I'm using a BH Cosmetics brush for this application. And I'm just going to start packing this on my outer V and forming the shape that I want. And then I'm going to blend it so it can um, look nice and transition with the all the other eyeshadows that I've already placed. So this is where I want it. I'm not going to bring it all the way in. I'm going to keep it like right on the outer V. As I start blending, then it'll creep a little bit further in. But for now, as I'm placing it, this is where I want it. For the lower lash 
line, I'm still using the eyeshadow named Boots, which is that brown one that I was just using on an e.l.f. smudge brush. And I'm going to buff that right under my lower lashes. And I'm going to keep it halfway under my lower lashes. Next, I'm going to take this Makeup Geek Pointed Crease Brush and I'm going to go into the shade Cheshire from the Winky Lux palette. And I'm going to be placing this right under my lower lashes, right under where I place boots and buff that right under there. I'm just trying to warm everything up and make sure it matches the top of my eye. Now I'm going to clean that brush a little bit and I'm going to go into Strut, which is this one right here from the same Winky Lux palette. And I'm going to buff that right under my lower lashes. This one, I'm going to bring it all the way in. For my inner tear duct highlight, I'm taking this Makeup Geek brush. This is the Outer V brush and I'm going to go into Pop Rock from the crown palette, the Glam Metals crown palette. And I'm just going to place this right in here and connect it to my lower lash line. To finish up the look, I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I'm also going to be using falsies. Today I'm using the Coco Lashes in 107, which look like this. And I will be right back. This is the full face finish look. On the lips, I'm wearing the Marc Jacobs lipstick named Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. It's 216 and I love the shade. Um, so yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Follow my other social media. Watch my previous videos. Share my channel. Share my videos. Until next time, my loves. Mwah. Hugs and kisses. Bye.